Hi and welcome to the Riders Lounge podcast. This is a special news update because X Games have finally released the Rider invite list for summer 2021. I'm your host for the podcast, Steve Sommerfeld, and I'm just pumped to see X Games finally back after last year's hiatus. And in this episode, we will talk about who's in and who's out of this year's freestyle motocross and moto disciplines. They include best trick, freestyle, best whip, quarter pipe, high air, and a new one, the 110s. So there's new riders, there's a new location, or new locations, I must say, and the new discipline as well. But before we get into that, I do want to say thank you to the team at Rothaus Brewery. It's a German brewery making the best beers in the world. And right now here in Germany, it is so hot. Summer's here. It's finally kicking in. But I've got some cold Tannen Zapfler alcohol-free beers there in the fridge, especially to keep me going right now. I'm in the studio, so I don't want any fans on in the background stuffing up this audio, making this podcast for a little bit of a news update. So thank you to Rothaus for keeping me cool with this uh, Tannen Zapfler alcohol-free beer. Now, uh, let's get into all the info that you want to find out because you probably haven't read the blog. You probably haven't even checked out Instagram and Facebook yet. But the news is it will be on July 14 to July 18, actually, for this year. So that's only that's only two weeks away. It's a list that's coming out very close to the day. Hopefully everybody can get their visas and flights and organize bikes and get ready in time. Right, so who's in and who's out? X Games, Motocross, Best Trick, Luke Ackerman, Rob Adelberg, J.O. Archer, Harry Bink, David Ronaldo, Josh Sheehan, and Jackson Strong. In Motocross Freestyle, it's Luke Ackerman again, Rob Adelberg, Harry Bink, Tucker Higashino, Ben Richards, David Ronaldo, Josh Sheehan, and Jackson Strong. X Games, Motocross, Best Whip. Tyler Berriman, Corey Creed, Vicky Golden, Axel Hodges, Jared McNeil, Tom Parsons, Colby Raha, Josh Sheehan, and Genki Watanabe, or Wanky. X Games Motocross, Quarter Pipe, High Air, Tyler Berriman, Corey Creed, Axel Hodges, Jared McNeil, Tom Parsons, and Colby Raha, and the new discipline is the 110s, Tyler Berriman, Pat Casey, Vicky Golden, Axel Hodges, Jared McNeil, Colby Raha, and Jeremy Twitch Stenberg. Right, so that's the names. We wanted to get them done and out there. So if that's all the time you've got, at least you know who's in. Now, there were a few things that kind of stuck out to me. There was a few surprises, put it that way. And the first big surprise in that list Actually, it's not even in the list. Where is Tom Pagez? That one definitely surprised me. So I don't know if Tom's out with injury. I don't know if he's not into it this year. I, I don't know. So where's Tom Pagez? The second one was J.O. Archer has been added to the best trick list. And this could get interesting. Like we know from the podcast where we had J.O. on, he was talking about, I think he just learned double backflip court overs maybe a few days or a few weeks before we even did that podcast. That's only a few months back now. But what else has he been working on? And plus, you know, the big one, the triple. I don't think, well, I don't know. I don't know if J.O. would be doing the triple at X Games this year. I don't know if they'd have the right ramp there. I don't know if he's ready to take it to dirt yet. That's a huge question mark. But knowing how focused J.O. is, I'm not ruling anything out. But on the other hand, I can't wait to see him on the world stage and throwing down. Uh, if you do want to check out that podcast, it's only a few episodes back in the list. So uh, yeah, J.O. chasing the triple. The third surprise, another Aussie. And it's a name that also wasn't on the list. Pat Bowden. Quite surprising. Um, yeah, he's, he's won Nitro World Games. He's got so much style so many big tricks and pat's name was not in there but this was a good surprise i'm stoked to see ben richards's name added to freestyle he's a young aussie ripper 
definitely one to keep your eye out for. And in two weeks, you will. And he's certainly hopped, skipped and jumped his way past a lot of big names to cement his spot at X Games this year. He's been riding with Jacko Strong a lot lately. Um, so I wonder what he's got his up. <laughs> I wonder what he's got up his sleeve for this competition. His first X Games, one of the first major events for the youngster. The fifth surprise that I saw was actually there's only seven names listed in Best Trick. So who will be the last name added? Would it be Tom Pagez, Pat Bowden? I don't know, uh, Clinton Moore or someone new, someone old. Actually, that brings me to the next surprise. Where's Clinton Moore? I didn't see his name on the list either. And if there's one thing I know about Clinton after riding with him for years and working with him, all I know that Dribble wants, he wants that X Games gold medal. I was there when he went for the 720. He had that thing pretty much on lock almost every time into the foam pit before he went for it in 2012. I know he wants to land that trick one day. He's also been working on other big tricks like the bike flip over 75 foot. Was he just not ready or did he decide to reel it in a little bit? I don't know. No Clinton on the list. Another not so surprise though is there is a lot of Australians on that list and I'm pumped. I'm an Aussie, so it's awesome to see so many fellow Australians get onto the list. The only issue I kind of can see is in the middle of COVID, I don't know if you know Australia's system, but the borders were closed hard from the very start of COVID. So it's incredibly difficult for anyone to get in or out of Australia. So hopefully everybody can get their exemptions and it's smooth sailing to get over to America for this X Games. Now, the next point, the eighth one, Adam Jones. And this was the heated debate that happened before the list was out. So I guess Adam knew because he wasn't invited and he chucked up a uh, an Instagram post, which, um, well, I missed it. I missed all the trolling. I was a few days late. I was out of action on my phone. I, I didn't see it. But uh, he had to turn the comments off but you can check out his Instagram post, or if you're on the blog, check that out. I've got it on there. Read what Adam has to say, and uh, it definitely does suck. He is one of the OGs. He's so damn smooth, but he didn't get an invite also to X Games this year. So that means there's no Americans in freestyle or in best trick. The ninth, well, let's say the surprise, is Twitch is back. But Twitch is also back in a new discipline. It's the 110s. They're racing. I don't know what it's going to look like. I don't know anything about it. But uh, all I've seen is the list with 110s and Jeremy Stenberg. So that will be interesting to see. The next one is the new location. Where will it be held? Right. So for the freestyle motocross, it will be held at Axel Hodges' place. So all the sports will be held on the different riders' training facilities. And this is the text from xgames.com. This is from their press. Growing up just outside the surf and skate mecca in California, X Games motocross medalist Axel Hodges' sleigh ground originated at his childhood home. Though the property has always included a racetrack, Hodges' sleigh ground is now a full compound, complete with steep turns, quarter pipes, kicker ramps, wall rides, manual pads and massive dirt jumps. The third and latest installment of Hodge's Sleigh Ground video part series was filmed entirely at the compound. Sleigh Ground will play host to motocross best trick, best whip, freestyle, quarter pipe, high air and the new 110s. Racing discipline. Right, so that was from the press. It's all going down at Axel's home. But actually, the other sports will also be going down at riders' training facilities and... It's the BMX medalist, Pat Casey. It'll be at his place called the Dream Yard. And the other one will be the CA training facility for the street and park courses. So there you go. That's that's the location news. Um, but I did also notice one other thing. Actually, there's a couple other things. There's only two Euro riders and there's only two from Asia. So David Ronaldo from France 
who created history by landing the first ever body burial in a backflip. That was called the Malachi. And he won the X Games gold medal in best trick. That's the one that everybody wants. So naturally, David Ronaldo will be returning to X Games to defend that one. Luke Ackerman from Germany. He's the youngest ever world champion. He won the 2019 Knight of the Jumps World Championship. And he's also been given his shot at X Games as well. From Asia, both from Japan, Takahigashino is in for freestyle and Wanky is in for best whip. And of course, those guys, well, <laughs> they've, they've got the tricks and they've got the whips to win both categories. So let's see what happens there. And one other guy I was thinking of actually for quarter pipe high air, another European actually from Spain, Guillem Navas. I was a little bit surprised not to see his name in quarter pipe high air, but there is only six places in that category. It could be down to the TV time slot issue. Maybe they're going to add more places. If they do, surely Navas Petit, as he's known on Instagram, would have to be the next in line. And the last point that I could think of, just this is kind of off the top of my head, there's only so many spots available at X Games. So while there are interesting tidbits here and there, and there are only so many spots available, there are so many damn good riders in the world who could fill those spots. Either way, I'm just stoked to see X Games back after the hiatus, and I can't wait to see this group of riders throw down in each of these disciplines in the 110s, in best trick, best whip, freestyle and quarter pipe highest air, and create some history. So yeah, I think that's about it from me. We could talk about all of the riders and everything they've been up to. I mean, just looking at best trick, that list of riders there with Rob Adelberg, who created history with like the most X Games gold medals in one calendar year, and Jacko Strong with, I can't even remember how many X Games gold medals he's won, but I think I'm just happy to sit back and wait and watch and see what gets thrown down. Like this year is so completely different to any other year of X Games. It's going to be pretty wild. If you've got your opinions, your thoughts on what tricks might get thrown down, jump on writersloungepodcast.com and uh, you should be able to find the blog post very easily. Leave your comments there or jump on Facebook or Instagram, TikTok, YouTube, whatever. I'd love to hear from you. And... Uh, yeah, I think we'll have a little bit more news in just over two weeks, put it that way. Thank you very much for tuning in. And also, again, a huge thank you to the German brewery, Rothaus, for keeping me cool, calm and collected while we uh, while I deliver this X Games news update with the Tannen Zapfler alcohol-free beer. It's about the only thing that's cold in this house right now like a sauna in here in this studio so thank you so much for tuning in i hope you enjoyed the podcast and ah actually just quickly i do have a podcast interview tomorrow with this is a pretty cool guest to have on actually somebody i think everybody could learn something from paul everest and if you don't remember who that is or you don't remember the name paul everest was actually one of the co-founders of the huge brand called Unit. I'm guessing you've probably heard of those guys. Uh, Paul has a new brand out. It's called Thriller. And he's actually putting it up for the first round of investments. Something like that. I want to find out everything from him. Because he's got such a brilliant business mind. So tomorrow morning I have that interview with Paul. But if you also want to cycle back through the last episodes. We've got so many good episodes like the last one with Nate Adams how many X Games medals has Nate Adams won so tune in to that one that was brilliant I, I really enjoyed talking to Nate but we've also got a lot of the riders on here that we've already spoken about like J.O. Archer Josh Sheehan Corey Creed Jared McNeil check it out they're all there in the back catalogue of the Riders Lounge podcast podcasts in the series whatever Anyway, thank you so much for tuning in and we'll see you in a few weeks after X Games is run and done and we'll go through it then. Catch you later.